One. One. One life. Oh, 50 feet of rope. All right, so if I attack with everything here, they block the Valky and they lose nine life and lose. What's up, Jamers? Today, we're playing a Mardu mid-range deck, and I originally played a Rakdos deck, but we're playing White for a specific reason, I'll let you know what that is in just a minute. We are playing an Inquisitor Captain deck today, and if you haven't seen a few of my videos, I'm kind of in love with this card. If you haven't seen this card before, which you probably have by now, uh, it's basically like Collected Company in a 3-3, but it, it, it gives you a choice between two different ones out of your deck randomly um, of mana value 3 or less creatures. As long as you have 20 or more of those in your between your deck, board, hand, and graveyard, um, you can get one of those on the battlefield, and that's really strong. With um, going Inquisitor Captain into Skyclave Apparition or into Stormseeker and giving this haste, or Inquisitor Captain into Thalia or Inquisitor Captain into Valky, ripping a card out of their hand, into Brutal Cathar or Spellbinder. So, very pretty toolboxy uh, version of Mardu here. And... You say, oh, hey, James, you're, you're basically playing Orzhov here. Why are you playing red? Well, we want to kill our opponents as fast as possible. And against, uh, I found that just like a black-white version of the deck like this is not fast enough to beat the is it decks and Demir decks, maybe some Grixis or, or Esper that we're going to be playing in this format. So that's why I have some Thalias in here to kind of push the damage through some Reckless Storm Seekers. And when we board out Inquisitor Captain, we board in Town Razor Tyrant in its place. Um, because we will be taking out some of our um, some of our creatures that have three mana value or less. Um, like Reckless Stormseeker and Graveyard Trespasser are great cards, and maybe Thalia, but they're not really good against certain decks, like maybe uh, Boros or Mono Red Dragons, or, or maybe even decks like uh, Gruel Werewolves. So in those spots, having a four four is very powerful. So we're going to take out some of those cards and Inquisitor Captains and throw in some Town Razor Tyrants. Uh, Soren and uh, some things for those matchups that are very good. So we're going to go ahead and start and get into the matches. And it all starts right now. I go first. This isn't very appealing. I have all my colors, though. And I have an extra turn to draw my extra land. If not, I can play either one of these. I think I'm going to keep it being on the play. I don't know, if I'm, if I'm on the draw, I might ship it. I don't know. I might keep it on the draw, too, because I have an extra draw at hitting a land. I don't know. Interesting. Oh, no. Not like this. I guess I, I guess I just Valky try to take the card out of their hand, take a good a good one. Voice of the blessed and righteous Valkyrie. Uh huh. So we take their turn two play, and then we apparition their turn three, and we spellbinder their turn three, and start hitting them. One of the reasons why I like this deck as well is it has a lot of cool-looking flyers. They drew another land, which is unfortunate for them. Now they have no play. They're top-decking. Leave it to my opponent to top-deck out of their mine holes. That is an incredible draw. So now I can become Voice of the Blessed and hold up Vanishing Verse. Or I could just like play Legion Angel. I think I, I think I'm just gonna be aggressive and just uh, be e aggressive. And just kill them with flyers. As one does. I like flyers. That hurts. It's right, if I draw a land I can I can out it anyway. Oh, 
Are they? Hushin Beth, Magic the Gathering Extraordinaire. Thanks for the raid, my friend. How's it going? I'm back today from Curved Nern Turn. Oh, can I have everything? I go first, and I'm just gonna, like, err on the side of bashing face in. All right, uh, Stormcarve Coast. Hey, hey, Graveyard Trespasser, can I have you back, please? <laughs> oh my God! Vanishing Verse actually did something. I don't know what I was expecting with the storm card coast, but definitely wasn't a whelp. But it's a, a different, really cool version of blue red dragons. Well, here we go. Spellbinder, please. Valky is probably good. Kind of figured they had that, but nothing I can do about it. Hello, Inferno of the Star Mounts. Except that's I'm never doing that because they're going to bounce it. Let's go attack first and see what they do. Yeah, if they bounce it, I can cast a ball. Yeah, that was the reason for going for Valky. Valky. They really, really want to divide by zero this turn. Do I just make them do it, though? I feel like I'm just supposed to make them do it. <laughs> Up deck iteration must be nice. I agree that if you have looting effects, it gets a lot better for you to play cards that are bad to draw late game. Alright, if I draw a land off the top, I can get an Inferno of the Star Mounts, but then it just gets bounced by Fading Hope, so... <coughs> I, won't be put I won't be doing that. Oh, hey, look, another Skyclave. Alright, so we attack them for five and then play Apparition on the Orb of Dragonkind. They're, they're going to get to play in front of the star mounts, but let's try to pressure them before they can kill us with it. That's fine, because then they don't get a creature back after they bounce the apparition. They're just going to bounce the Valky, though, so it doesn't really matter. They whiff. Oh, they didn't bounce anything. Hello? Oh, because I had to use a mana for that anyway. <laughs> Resolves. Okay. 
Captain. <sighs> Baiting Hope is really annoying here. <laughs> What's up, Thursday Kane? Fading Hope is going to time walk me, right? If I Storm Seeker, then they just bounce the Storm Seeker and I pass turn. <laughs> so in order for me to, like, not pass turn, if I Skyclave Apparition this, they let it go through, and then I attack, and then they Fading Hope the Skyclave, and then they get a 4-4, four -four, and then I lose my creature. But is that worth putting them to 5 life? I think I think I just want to do this and hope for a uh, elite spellbinder. <laughs> uh, or guaranteed graveyard trespasser, I guess. Get rid of this in case they have Leer in their deck. I guess I could have, like, played the Apparition and attacked to bait the Fading Hope on the Apparition instead of using Fading Hope on Valky. But if they attack, if they do the play that bounces Valky and then cast Inferno, they lose. Oh, so, so they have to not attack me. Alright, please draw land. Crap. Sucks. Alright, so if I attack with everything here, they block the Valky and they lose 9 life and lose. Let's go! I mean, I like this, though, all things considered. If I draw one more land, I'm happy. Two lands, I'm ecstatic. This is Mardu mid-range, Mike Wood. Yo, Snarl Gamer. Yo, it's a land. We, li we like to see that. Us here in Jametown like to see this. Oh? Oh? Give it to me, baby. I'm convinced we won that last game because we had the Vanishing Verse for the Whelp. They missed a land drop. Do they have one damage? No. In before, we also missed a land drop. Fading Hope? Demon Bolt Mythalia. I'll take a Demon Bolt on that over a Demon Bolt on the Town Razor Tyrant, that's for sure. Well, that gets murdered. Banished. Oh my god, are we winning or are we winning? Let's freaking go! Let's go! Oh, that's, that's not good for me. What if they do this into a blue source and... Okay. And then, and then fading hope, and then our, all of our hopes fade forever. Town Razor Tyrant, let's freaking go. Go, 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 go. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, coming through. Take two, take two, take eight, game. Double salute. Ew. This hand doesn't have red in it, but I'm in for it. That is a Valky. I'll play it. 
Let's take a 3-3. Three, three. That's a 3-3. Three, three. But I like Tovalar better. You know what we can do? We can kind of bait them into either casting Pack Leader or Tovalar. You know what I like better, actually? Taking the Pack Leader, and then they go Bolt Red Source and Thunder Rebuke because it's their only play. So they do it. And then we go Shattered Sanctum, Graveyard Trespasser, and then we're ahead. Oh, we're broken. We're busted. And we exile our own Valky. Do some Demouge. And then they play their puny little Tovalar or their puny little Werewolf Pack Leader. And then we Apparition it. Oh, we're not. Uh... No. I'm the aggressor here, not them. So then we go like this, and then we go Inquisitor Captain into another Apparition, or into Elite Spellbinder, and then we're broken. We're broken. Blocked company. Eh, basically. Oh, oh, we're insane here. We have Vanishing Verse for this? Oh, red source off the top, please. Give me a red mana. That's not a red mana. We're gonna Vanishing Verse this because we need to save our apparition for this Tovalar. Uh, yeah. Are they dead or are they dead? Couple blockers. All right, they go block, block, and they take five. So if we, they block, block, and take five. Yeah, high of the eye tyrant's lethal. Let's freaking go. I mean, apparition's lethal too. It's a hand. I have double white here as well. And red. All right, so... I don't really want to Skyclave this. I think I won't Skyclave it. I want to save Skyclave for a card that Vanishing Verse can't exile. They could have Thunder Rebuke, and even if they do, they have to use their whole all their mana for it and discard a card. Which works out for me, because then I can Inquisitor Cap the next turn anyway. Oh my god. What? Wait, what? Hand, library, graveyard, hand, and library. Oh, it doesn't count the board. I thought it counted the board. So since Thalia's on the board and Kalane here is exiled because of Rahilda, that means that I don't actually get the Inquisitor Captain. Alright, this is why I wanted to have the Apparition here.
I wonder if they have play with fire. They have a stop. Oh wait, there's stops for lair. Four mana three three vigilance, okay. This is a four mana three three vigilance that I'd happy to play without the into the battlefield trigger, okay chat? Okay, YouTube chat. I'd be happy to play this card as just a four mana three three. No need for the enter the battlefield trigger. I don't know what you're talking about. Enter the battlefield trigger sucks on this card, actually. That layer is a three three. First time here to see Tovlar being exiled, this warms my heart. Oh, there we go. What's up, Seven Death? It does cost two to snakeskin. Seven Death, thanks for the follow as well. Brittle Blast. Get a 3 3. Block my captain. Look, look, at, look at the fear that Inquisitor Captain puts in my opponent. Oh, my opponent draws lands too. Hello? Hello? And before my opponent draws an absolute bomb. Please don't do it. I guess they get to cast my Kalein. We get to first strike each other. Oh, it's a puppy. Actually, a terrible draw. All right. Am I going to win this game because of Inquisitor Captain Vigilance? Hey, look, a land. I love that. I love that for myself. Maybe I should take it easy on boarding cards out and, and having cards exiled, okay? Maybe I should just take it easy on the Inquisitor Captain and just uh, keep a couple more... Top deck Thunder Rebuke on my win condition. Alright, I would love to not draw it. Actual Pog Champ. Hello, Tibalt. I can work with that. If I exile. It should just plus, right? Oh my god! That was baller! Usually the history of me playing Tabalt is that I just exile their lands. Ovalar. Am I exiling Tovalar now? To bolt equals better Inquisitor Captain. No. You think I'm just exiling this? Because I want this. <laughs> the bolt says mine. <laughs> and wins the game. Uh, I will keep this hand even though it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a land heavy hand because I have a scry land and I also have three four and this three four is pretty good uh, I have double white I have triple black I have one red so I'm gonna go red on this one uh spellbinder is better than a land not a turn two play but I'll take it ooh Ooh, it's this deck. All right, now I'm scared. All right, red. I want to go white source here because if I happen to draw a Skyclave Apparition for turn next turn, I'm going to want to be able to cast it with this. 
Oh, it's an island. Is it rogues? And I guess we'll find out, right? I guess I'll just do this first. If this is somehow... Gerard disruption, I'm gonna riot. Sh shambling gas to Gerard disruption. Alright. It's exploit zombies. Oh, whoa. What? I guess I take their counter spell. So, I actually don't like Infernal Grasp in this format because the white black deck that Zansaya has been playing, by the way, if you're watching this from YouTube, make sure to go give Zansaya, Z A N S Y E D, a, a subscription on YouTube. But, great player made this black-white deck, and uh, that deck drains a lot of life and burns you for a lot, and taking the two damage is actually super relevant in that matchup, so. They did nothing for good reason, so we're just going to play Inquisitor Captain here into it, I think. Please don't draw a counter spell. Alright. Alright, both of these cards are good. I think I do Graveyard Trespasser. Because then they have to discard a card for targeting it. And I like them discarding cards. And this also drains a life. Uh, he's still number two with it, I'm pretty sure. A four mana 3 3 that gets a Graveyard Trespasser is pretty pop champ chat. And I, I need to stop drawing lands, to be honest. Another Infernal Grasp, take more life, discard a card. That kind of tells me that this, this, no, no, this missing card here is a land. Oh, it's a Consider, okay. Dominic QC. Thanks for the follow. Did they just put an island in the graveyard when they're missing a land? Okay, maybe they already had one. It's night time. I play Storm Seeker, it just gets bounced. So that means I'm playing this. Alright, so here they just get a token, a treasure, and the next turn I can double spell. I don't even know if I want to double spell though. That's a top deck Soren, which is kind of good for me since I have trample damage here. They drew a card. Alright, so I do this, and then I give this... Five. Okay, they were kind of banking on me not doing five damage. Uh, what is Oppo doing? Did, uh, I guess my Xaxis thing got erased. Actually, 50 feet of rope isn't even that bad. I mean, it's bad, but don't get me wrong, but it's not that bad. Alright, here's where I don't draw lands. I'm getting rid of the brush truck or am I getting rid of the I'm getting rid of the brush truck here because I'm gonna like brutal cut out the other thing. 
Christmas, thanks for the thanks for the host. Malia? I mean this stops them from playing Zorin, I guess. I played the Decathlon events? No, I haven't been interested in them. Alright, give, give me a land. Alright, that's good. I've learned that I just have to pressure this deck to beat it. Because, <laughs> like, that, that deck doesn't really play from behind that well. Usually it just gets ahead and just stays ahead. Like, if this is my opponent trying to play from behind, then so be it. Like, they're going to jump block with these. I'm going to play a flyer. God, I can't believe they're main decking that card. I mean, not that I can't believe it, I guess. I mean, I've main decked that card before. Pyre of Heroes, Ring, or Pit Trap. I mean, Ring is mana. But doesn't doesn't Pyre Pyre actually get me like broken stuff? I'm pretty sure Pyre gets me Inquisitor Captain. And then Captain can get me a way to exile this. I don't want to get rid of my Stormseeker yet. I'm going to do this plus rope. I don't want them casting any of these. I guess Brushstroke's scarier. Would Pyre work well on a Vampire list? Probably. Get, get that damage in. I should have attacked with Stormseeker also. I'm dumb. Maybe at 12. Uh, so I get rid of my Brutal Cathar, unfortunately. I've, I've learned that aggroing this deck and making flyers is good. Gonna do opponent. Um, they can't deadly dispute. They can't wedding announcement. They can't pass summoning. Uh, they can't ride oblivion. Okay, so they they're just like going. To, they're just in combat. Okay, this gets. Stormseeker gets Inquisitor Captain. I think I'm going to reverse the Connoisseur. And then grow the Spellbinder and attack with both. They should be at 12 right now because I missed the uh, attack with Stormseeker, but it is what it is. You're thinking about blocking with the Blood Artist, I guess? 
Yo, let's freaking go, Rachel. How is it? How is it, homebrew? What are you playing? We need another red. How about a land? Like, I learned that making the opponent's deck do what things that they don't want to do is good. Like, if they have to write of Oblivion stuff just to survive. Well, now they can't do that. Oh, now they just deadly dispute one of these things? Or that thing? Okay. They draw another right of Oblivion? Sacrificing a 1-1. One, one. Exiling a Spellbinder. Oh, they exiled Stormseeker. Interesting. They are going to gain a bunch of life here, but hopefully we get rid of this before that happens. Alright, so the dream is drawing a 3-drop here. Because so I, I can do 3-drop plus Pyro of Heroes. Okay, that's a great draw, actually. I'd love to draw lands. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going... Is this non land permanent or creature? Non-land permanent? Okay. I'm going to Pyre of Heroes, the Spellbinder, plus 50 feet of rope. Thalia or Valky? It's just Thalia, right? And I have 50 feet of rope, rappel down, venture into the dungeon. Scry one. Take a Skyclave. Yeah, Thalia is annoying for them. Yeah, Ren Renchank. How's it going? Hacker Mauling for four since I don't have a basic land. Interesting. I Twitch since they're flying blocker. Okay, so I don't have a four mana core or spirit. But do I have a do I have a one mana goblin in my deck? No. But I can Skyclave Apparition the Blood Artist. No. It's better to, to apparition the eye twitch, right? The artist will hurt more, but I think we're in a card advantage game here. I wish I had a four mana core in my deck, though. I, I, um, the, the deck the opponent's playing actually loses to dragons and um, uh, uh, gruel werewolves. Like, pretty consistently. But it's really hard for gruel werewolves and dragons to beat, like, a lot of specific decks. Okay, so getting rid of my Pyro of Heroes, sure. 
Unfortunate. Yo, sick land. For the treasure, make a 1-1. One, one. Create a token. Well, I guess I'll create a token. Then I can put a 1 1 counter on the 1 1. I am a dungeon player. The next turn, and then the next turn we draw Valky, and it's perfect. Of course, just draw Valky, right? Easy clap. Did he get my flyer back though? What if they right of oblivion are fifty feet of rope? That's like the ultimate sign of respect. Hey, look, a land. Busted, actually. I love this. I love this for me. I would love to repel down every turn. I, I like that a lot, actually. Valky of the pathway, right? <laughs> Did I miss lethal somehow by not using the minus the each opponent loses a life and you gain a life mode? No, because they would have blocked differently. I guess I could have attacked first and then did that. No, they would never do that. Can I just draw something else besides a land? I would love that. At least I get to use my mana, I guess. And get to draw an extra card next turn, I guess. Are they going to write of Oblivion the Skyclave? Where the two damage lost this game? Uh, Where the two damage lost? Yes and no? Both? Hog champ. I draw a card. Hog champ. Oh, we missed two on the opponent. Yeah, we still wouldn't have killed them. But yeah, we missed two. Storm Seeker. Make them block before their stuff gets bigger. We would be in a lot worse position if we weren't pressuring them, though. All right, and then we can fifty. We can fifty feet of rope for a different dungeon. We can go like the losing life one, maybe. This blood artist is really annoying, though. So we do this. Starting a new dungeon, Pog Champ.
All right, it's not nighttime, so this doesn't win me the game here. I'm trying my best. To make them block with the blood artist. They're not going to. Unfortunate. That would have been game. Yikes. Missed attack on Storm Se Stormseeker on turn four loses us the game. Fifty feet of rope. Yay. Am I am I also just going tomb of annihilation here and saying each pl each player loses a life? And then each player loses two life? Cause like they can put me to they can put me to five next turn and then they make a blocker and then they make another blood artist they're gonna make another blood artist chat oh and they're gonna make a thing oh my gosh that's a lot of life gain Also a lot of life lost for me. They attack me before I go to six. But if they do that, they can't play the brushstroke. So if they just play the brushstroke and pass, they have two blood artists and a, and a gain life. So they go to five. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. We did, we 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 didn't do this to not do this. We have to make fifty feet of rope win us the game. So we're gonna eat, have each player lose a life. And we're going to say, better got an opponent. Yeah, the whole reason why I played Trespasser in the deck is because of this deck. Gaining life is just that important. Alright, give me a flyer. Give me a flyer off the top, please. Just do it. Just one time. Oh, please don't that, that let that one card be right of Oblivion. Are you kidding me? Alright, it's not. Land. All right, I might actually win the game this turn. I have this hive here. Hey, look, a land. Broken. Each player loses two life unless they discard a card. They lost two life! Do I win? One? One? One life? Oh! 50 feet of rope! 50 
50 feet of rope. Everybody in your chairs at home. Lasso me, baby. Lasso me, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Only Zark, Skull People Zarks. Zark. I guess 50 feet of rope broke expectations. You're not wrong. That was crazy. They really didn't want to discard that, that, that other car, did they? They really didn't. They were holding on to it for dear life. Why are they playing Lunark Veteran? Stop breaking my expectations. Give me rope. Give me rope. Give me rope now. Okay, Pyre's really good. But we can do the plow? When it attacks at triple white and you gain three life, it has crew six. Can we get to six? No. This will be our, be our five mana play because we're going to draw infinite lands anyway. All right, Thalia will attack. Since it has three power first strike damage. Go, go, Thalia Ranger. Moldaren Bloodcaster. All right, Meat Hook Massacre, where are you? <clears throat> I have one in my deck. Maybe you can make your command rope that will randomly generate a number of how long your rope is. I, I wish I could do that. Can someone do that for me? I don't have the power. I will do this. And then I will hit this land. And then I will... Buff my... Give my tyrant haste and attack with it and get jump blocked. And then my... They're going to get an answer to Town Razor Tyrant off of this. And they're also going to use their blood token to loot their land away. Oh, I guess they didn't get an answer. I guess they didn't loot either. I'm confused. I guess they're keeping their blood tokens around for when they cast their um, Rush Stroke that they already have in hand. Or maybe they already have an answer. Oh, they want to keep it around for the sacrifice. Got it. Alright, so now I can Pyre of Heroes... Okay, how about another land? Do we like lands, chat? Or do we like lands? Can can someone give me an accurate representation of how much lands we like? Alright. So we do... Stormseeker into... Commander? I'm not even playing that many lands, chat. This is just weird. Please work. Thank you. Yo, this Pyro of Heroes card's sick. It gives me you Inquisitor Captains. In before Meat Hook Massacre. Pest Summoning. Oh, you you did it you did it for cause. Hold on. All right, does it work? Oh wait, I guess that didn't work. <laughs> All right, it needs to be fixed again. All right, so I can make Thalia turn into. Oh wait, I can turn Thalia, since Thalia is a human, I can turn Thalia into exiling their Rite of Oblivion. 
That's pretty cool. Yo, should I just play Pyro of Heroes in my deck? That seems pretty pock champ. Um, and then I do this to hit the eye twitch. And then I do this for black mana since I have red and white here. Kalane, that seems really bad. But I can I can pyre the Kalane, so I'll keep it. Busted. Alright, so I, I attack with Inquisitor Captain, because even if it dies, I can pyre of heroes my graveyard trespass or into another one. Sick. Oh no. Crap. Okay. Okay. I still have Kalane and I still have Pyre of Heroes. Because this is also a human for some reason. Am I just playing humans without even knowing it? Am I playing Marty humans? Seems like it. So I do this, and I do this. Into another copy of Graveyard Trespasser, exiling the Lunark veteran. Gaining a life, playing a land, and passing. Mardoomin. And then... I Pyre of Heroes by Graveyard Trespasser into another copy of, of Inquisitor Captain. And then we see if that works. That's a good card. It's also nighttime. So we just attack first. And then we exile Eye Twitch and... Ambitious Farmhand, Drain 2. I don't even know if I Pyre of Heroes here. I don't think I do. I just keep my graveyard button. We do that. And they scoop. Wouldn't you say that this match broke our expe our opponent's expectations, chat? All right, well there you have it, gamers. Mardu midrange. Make sure to try this out for yourself if you like, or post in the comments something that you might change. Um, I did put, do a, do a couple of changes there in the middle there. Not not a lot, but I put. Uh, well, I'm actually thinking about putting a couple of Brutal Cathars in the sideboard. Actually, I did. I, def I did make that change while we were playing, uh, while the video was happening. You didn't get to see that, but that's what we did. Put a couple of Brutal Cathars in the sideboard uh, against uh, the Dragons and Angels matchups, and uh, seeming to help there. Um, we have, a, I think we have a pretty good matchup against the, the, the rest of the format. Just The format of Flyers are so good, and Flyers are just good in general in this format, which is the reason why I, I think Elite Spellbinder is really good. Um, people aren't really playing a lot of uh, Spike Field Hazard and things like that to stop it. So um, let me know what you think of this deck and then try it out. This is the final build here. If you made it this far, make sure to try this build out yourself. Uh, and the, this build will also be in the comments for you to put into Arena yourself. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and see you in the next one. Peace.